Welcome to the BBC Health Report. I'm Darren Gottwood. Somehow many individuals have issues with their consumption. Alcohol is ravaging the good people of the former Soviet Union. Eastern Europe is straining under the yoke of Putin, with over 17 litres of pure alcohol per head of population consumed per year. To probe at this sweaty problem, we are joined by Dr. Deliria Tremensky, known professionally as the Blonde Beast. Deliria, how has alcoholism gone from a cultural preference to a full-blown public health crisis? Well, Darren, I think that some people were expecting a different future for the post-Soviet bloc. Economic stagnation and plentiful availability of state-subsidized potatoes have led us to the point where there's a massive glut of cheap, accessible, hard alcohol in all of Eastern Europe's major economies, which consume more alcohol per capita than anywhere else in the world. Heart and liver disease is rising. And life expectancy has fallen rapidly since 1991. Do you know why that is? No, Deliria. Ask the intern. Now then, I will ignore your drunkenness because I was smart enough to put booze in my coffee, wasn't I? <sighs> Hand me another beer, please. Well, what about liver cancer rates? Those are concerning to you, are they not? Well, my countrymen and women die of all kinds of degenerate, degenerative illnesses at higher rates than your British mates, Darren. Liver cancer is just the tip of the iceberg, which is also a brand of vodka. Maybe this WHO conference will help. Yes, delegates of the European bloc, you have an important responsibility to never drink on an empty stomach. To our viewers on the telly, more who is happening right now. Stay tuned for more health-related coverage. But most importantly, I'm still Darren Gottwood, reporting for BBC Health.